The first time I shot Andy, we were standing in the factory. Next to him, rolled up, they were 50 different pieces of acetate. He pulled out this one rolled up acetate, unrolled it, and sure enough, this gigantic image of Maryland appeared. When Indiana invited me to come to his studio, he had been working on his Die and Eat series. Off of this, Robert did uh, a whole series of these hardline designs utilizing words, you know, love, which of course became the most famous. This group of pop artists and their work was just now coming into its own. And what I wanted to do was shoot those artists with their work. Now we're going to Robert Indiana's place. It's been 30 some odd years since I, I knew him in New York City. This is like one of the ancient odysseys. Robert is a very, very private person. He made it very, very difficult to get to. Hello, hello. No, these are absolutely beautiful. Hello, I'm Taylor Mead. This is where Andy Warhol's factory used to be. Once a studio of a great genius and now a parking lot. Story of New York. It's amazing that he understood that those people had something inside of them, and very few people did. Anybody could have photographed them in the 60s when they were unknown, but he did. What you have is the perfect storm of someone with great talent and access. Taking photographs of what will one day become some of the masterpieces of 20th century art. These are pictures uh, totally priceless. Nobody has seen these pictures right. before. What's exciting is to be able to see the photographs he took of these two iconic figures of American art, Andy Warhol and, and Bob Indiana, that really haven't been known by very many people at all. Mm -hmm.